Welcome, welcome everyone to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Oh, hey Pyro. Early of the party. Oh, we already have four people. Nice. Man, both both the YouTube channel and the Twitch channel are starting to uh, pick up stream, I gotta say. Hi, Maestro. Hi, Ron. Thank you all for coming. I, as always, I appreciate it. So, I'm going to recap what's happened since the stream, because a little bit's happened. I have become level 98 now. I was 96 and like 60% experience last time we were together, and I managed to find an XP service finally. The five-way XP service is just so rare this league, I don't know why. But uh, finally got some, and that's good. Now I don't have to worry about my XP. And I'll just do my leveling when I'm ready. More importantly than that, though, I actually redid my passive tree. You find it spammed in trade chat? Hmm. There, I usually look uh, in the trade discord. But I should try to trade chat. Admittedly, I'm not really worried about how expensive it is anymore. I just want to finish leveling up because, I, as I've mentioned before on the channel, it gives me a lot of anxiety to have XP because I'm like always like, oh fuck, I'm going to lose it if I'm not careful. And then I'm just constantly like stressing myself out about it. So, I like having either either being max level or having zero XP. So, I'm probably going to pay my way up there, pretty much irregardless of the cost. I don't really care. <laughs> so, changed a few things on the passive tree. Uh, we were over in this section completely before. Uh, we had uh, health node, aura node, dual socket, and the charge here. I've chopped this entire section of the passive tree off. And... I have moved my passive tree down here a bit. So now I'm taking up this health node, this dual socket. I got a nice uh, evasion and el element of resistance cluster. And I got a really big spell suppression cluster here, which I have close to 86% spell suppression now from like 40. So it's a big deal. Also moved another dual socket right here. And, most importantly, I have gotten a Forbidden Flesh and Flame. These are very cheap ones that I picked up, but I really wanted to try them out because they are just that cheap. Uh, I picked Heartstopper. So, for those who aren't familiar with Heartstopper, basically what it is, is you can see it floating above my head right now, the little black, the blackness. So every five seconds, or sorry, every ten seconds, you get five seconds of... 40% less damage from hits, and the other 5 seconds is 40% less damage from damage over time. So, it's kind of, it's somewhat unreliable, but it's a, like a supremely massive damage reduction. And I don't get hit very reliably either, so hopefully this will be enough to keep me safe. Honestly, I've noticed some nice survivability increases, so yeah. Ah, Maestro, if uh, <laughs> if you're having any trouble with currency, I do have uh, the uh, currency video coming out later for uh, Catalyst Gambling. Definitely should try that out if uh, you can find people selling it for a decent, selling Catalyst for a decent price, because it is a big deal. Ah, that's fair. Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of Gambling with catalysts, I have a little, little bit of money. A little bit of money now. <laughs> uh, 
I've also gotten, like, really fucking lucky on a few things. So, like, I got a uh, Diversion Inspiration gem from a heist, which was four and a half div, just on its own, for leveling it, and stuff like that. Also, I think I'm going to start avoiding opening div cards off-stream. Because <laughs> I got a Torrance Reclamation from a Void div card. For those who don't know, a normal Torrance Reclamation is five divine. One with a Grace Aura effect is seven divine. And one with a Max Energy Shield implicit, Corruption implicit, is a is six divine. So one of those is worth one divine, the other ones were two divine, just for the implicits. So I don't actually know how much this thing is worth. I don't. I have no idea how to price it whatsoever. I know it's godly because there's nothing like it on the market. I on. I really wish that I had opened this my divs on stream because I would really have liked to capture that because I was just floored. I was just fucking floored because this is. I mean, this is a ridiculous thing to get from a random div card. So, yeah. That's that's the majority of what's been going on. Yeah, it was just... I was kind of just, like, sitting in stunned silence for, like, 30 minutes. Just, like, I don't, I don't know what to do with myself now. I think I won. I think I won Path of Exile. <laughs> uh, do I have anything? Oh, cool. I do actually have some stuff to turn in. Let's grab the interesting one. Let's see if we need anything interesting from these last three, last few div cards that I have. Nation card, Endurance. Destroy. <laughs> Chevron item. Chevron's Pace. That is not very good. Oh well. The bank. And gloves. That is a max rolled energy shield and an almost max rolled life. That is worth one chaos. God damn it. Oh my gosh, I for totally forgot the most important thing of all. I was corrupting, uh... I was corrupting... Uh, the Vixen's Entrapments, because I'm using a Vixen's Entrapment. And I got another pretty fucking ridiculous roll as well, because this is the old Vixen's Entrapment I had. And I corrupted it just being like, well, maybe I'll get a decent corruption bill to sell it for something. I'm not selling it. It's a max rolled spell critical strike chance Vixen's Entrapment, which is the ideal for my build. I don't... <laughs> I'm not going to talk this up to, like, skill. This is just random luck. So I don't know how the fuck this happened. But, got this now. That's a thing. But, one of the great things about getting as much money as I have been, is now I can waste money on stream, for all years' enjoyment. So I have a... Oh, it's a Voidborn, not a Forgotten Reliquary. Change the uh, stream title. Getting the Voidborn Reliquary. So, later on in the stream, I'm going to be opening a uh, Voidborn Reliquary. Uh, for those who don't know, you get a random, unique item, and it is like the hollow rainbow version of it. Uh, it's basically just like holographic cards, if it was a TCG. Uh, these are worth about 3.2 divine each. And I'm just going to burn it, because, I mean, why not? Let's, let's see. Yeah, it's foiled. So, we're going to be doing that eventually. 
Oh, that's that's on the docket. And now that I'm not kept like, held down by having so much XP, well, you're gonna see exactly what uh, you're gonna see exactly what's in them now, and you don't have to pay for it. One of the great things about watching this stream is because I have a stupid amount of money, I can do things that let you see the outcome without paying for them at all. Oh, also, before I go any further, I want to thank a couple of people. Uh, I got two follows offline, one of which was a few days, was like almost a week ago now, and I'm so sorry for missing you. Thank you, Oxman, for following. And also, thank you, Forty Hunt, for following yesterday. If either of you are here, I really appreciate it. Welcome to the community. Okay, so now that we're not actually, we don't actually give a shit about our XP, we can do some fun shit now. Let's do some Conqueror, if we can find any. I mean, I can, I can spawn them, but like, let's see if we can get some free ones. Ball Temple map. I like Ball Temple. There's a Chimera. Okay, I'll just spawn one then. Let's do some Witness Conquerors. I have a Veritania here. Let's go with that first. Veritania, then we have... I have everything except for a Baron. So we might have to go find one of those. Okay, definitely Searing Exarch. Fortune favors the brave. Black to fight for the buff. Let us go get some fragments. Maybe later we can fight Cirrus, actually. That would be a good way to spend the stream. I mean, I have the fragments. Why not? I haven't fought him yet this league, so we'll have to see how uh, resilient my build is against him, but... Oh my gosh, there's always so much lag when I start a delirium. Not my favorite. I gotta say, this is a tier 15, not a 16, unfortunately. And, like, I lose my energy shield sometimes, but I don't really get into too many scary situations anymore now that I have... The uh, Heartstopper. Like, Heartstopper is really, really good. Which, it kind of boggles my mind because, for some reason, a, uh, a copy of Heartstopper, like, like, the set was 60 Chaos. Which, I don't understand. Like, a set, if I want to get Opportunistic, which is, like, the ideal one for my build, that's, that's 30 Divine, a set. And that's if I can find them on the market at all. But that's just, like, super cheap for some reason, so that's a thing that we're going to be doing. Ooh, Breach Ring. I was recently informed that you can take Breach Rings and put them together like you used to the, uh, or like you continue to with the uh, unique, just normal unique rings to make a lore weave. Except for this one makes a Breach version, which is... Crazy and bizarre, and kind of cool, honestly. Happy they added that, because Breach Rings are usually just started due to their not very useful nature outside of Breaches. I've always loved Breach Rings, because like, a really good Breach Ring is amazing. Like, when you're actually in a Breach. It's just not very outside of it. Uh, yes, Pyro. Grasping the mail. Thank you. I could not remember the name. If you're using a rare, a rare ring currently, I would highly suggest you look into the Breach Rings. Because you might be able to get something that has, like, way, way extra 
like health or something on it because the effects are doubled. And no one uses them, so they're really fucking cheap. But that's only really if you're doing a uh like the actual breach stones. If you're just doing the breaches in maps, then I don't think it's really all that useful. I do like doing breach stones, so I should definitely invest in that. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, come on. Just one chest? That, that's it? Bad. What type of uh, breach stones do you usually sell? Just, like, whatever random thing you can come across? Or do you, like, focus on something? Or... I'm not sure if you can, like, really focus on particular breaches. I think you can, the passive tree. I don't ever do breach stuff. Like, like I do breach stones. I run breach stones at times, but I don't actually do too much breach content when it comes to, like, the passive tree and stuff. I haven't seen any, really any influenced rares lately. What's going on? Oh, that is my weapon swap. Bad. So many glass blowers bobbles. But to be fair, I was out of them for a while, so. Good to have. I wish I was getting that, though, when I was actually crafting flasks as... People don't realize it, but crafting, like, picking up flasks in high-tier maps and then crafting modifiers on them is, act, like, just with alterations and augmentation orbs is actually, like, a pretty lucrative way to make money. I was doing that for a very long time. I mean, if you've ever, if you've seen my sell tabs, you, you'd know, like, I have, I still have a lot left over from that. And they sell somewhat regularly for just, like, 9, 19, 29... I've even sold some for up to 100 chaos for a single flask, because people don't like rolling their own flasks. They just want it to be done for them. So if you do roll some stuff, just like look for some tier 1 modifiers, and uh, you probably have money there. The only problem is that you need uh, uh, high item level flasks for it, so if you d can't do like tier 16s, then you're going to probably suffer. Unless you go into public parties and pick up the flasks that are on the ground public parties, because usually people do not pick up flasks when you're in, like, tier 16, 15 stuff. So, good chance right there. Whoa. Whoa, okay. What's going on? Go away. You go away. Whoa, okay. Someone's got chaos damage. Chance to drop divination cards that reward armor and reward weapons. That sounds really good. I love the X Arch and and uh, Eater influenced maps. They're so good. So much juicy currency and stuff. 
And with all the extra mobs from Delirium, ugh, so good. I've been thinking lately about maybe making an aura bot. Just for fun. Because sometimes it's. I really like support characters. And. I mean. I like support characters. And that's, that's kind of the end of uh, the statement. <laughs> I don't really have much other justification besides that. Just it's really fun to uh, be able to support people. And people are always super excited when they have like a good support with them. So. It always it makes fun player interactions. What? Oh, you're a rogue metamorph. That's what you are. Wondering what that giant thing was. Um, no, I'm good. Not that. Okay, bit, bit much going on. Okay. Nope. Where? Thousand, I know Thousand Foot Shadow's in here somewhere, but I cannot see him with the dam. Oh no, this is the uh, Living Ice. Not Thousand Foot Shadow. Confusing my channel-based map bosses. A bunch of mines and go. Oh right, right. D and D mode. Forgot that. Ooh, class hand. Nice. I need a class. I need. I need class hands right now for uh, the challenge. Okay, before I do this, because I'm weird, I'm gonna forget. I don't recognize this actually. Not valuable. Okay. For some reason, I three I, like three times in a row. I read this as plus three to to all maximum resistances. My brain just combined like swapped the words maximum and elemental. I'll defer that. I guess I'll take that and that. Oh, and that. Cool. Veritania. pain will be endless. Mm, no, 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 no. I don't want to be want to be a wade with very much. Oh, I was worried that she was going to uh, end up getting up, like end up flying away. That is the worst. That was pretty good, though. I had, like, seven layers of delirium there, and I still managed to get it. Changing, changing my password tree really helped. It made me a lot tankier. I only need one. Oh god. Okay, right, hold on. <laughs> oh 
Well, we can do a little bit of gambling now, at least. Brace of Catalysts. Boom. Ooh, got a Prismatic and a Fertile. Nice. That's 26. 26 C, and I just paid 10 for that. God, I love, I love the Catalyst converting. It's just so good. Genuinely a really, really effective way of making money. Oh, right. A mode. There. Now we will no longer be interrupted. Oh, that's the uh, crappy one. Oh, we got two scouting reports there. Oh, shoot, that wasn't influenced. I just realized that doing the Searing Exarch means it's not an influence. Darn it. <laughs> I need that influenced. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Apparently, I already have a a influ or a witnessed Veritania and Alhazim. So I need a Baron and a Drox, and then I'll be able to do the uh, Elder Slayer's invitation. Ah, oh, here's a Drox. That one. Underground River. I can. That's fine. I don't mind Underground River. I'll take some metamorphs and some spirits. Then I'm going to witness it and sulfite and fortune favor the brave. And boom. And delirium. Always good. No. Blood explode on me. It's forbidden. Oh, wait. I don't want flasks. I'm not going to craft flasks anymore. I It's numbed my mind too much doing it. I, cra I decided to craft like 30 in a row one day, and after that I'm just like, no. I, I think I'm good. I'll... <laughs> I'll just leave that money on the table. I'm okay with that. <laughs> After all, this is a game. So, like, you want to have fun. Money-making method is not fun? Then don't do it. Very lucky that I enjoy playing the market. So, at least I can make money off of that. Mm, that's busy. That's way too busy. What the hell was that? I have no idea what that was, but something was like really dangerous and angry with me. Maybe just because there's just so much shit in a pile there. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, Heartstopper, please flip back to it. <laughs> I don't need dot protection right now. You know, I got halfway to a mage blood last league. I wonder if I'd be able to get to one. That's not one of those those goals that you can really like go for, per se, like, it <laughs> takes a lot of work to get 
one of the like crazy items like a mage blood or a headhunter or something like that. And a lot of the time it's just up to luck whether you're gonna have the money for it or not. Luck whether you find some method of making money or you find a good item or you a good selection of items or you have rotation or all that stuff. That's what I find. All right. Taking a bit of a risk. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, that's a, that's a giant shrine or whatever they're called. Massive shrine. I should be a little, little bit tankier now. I have 4,700 health now. From four from four thousand. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm good. <laughs> and the Pentacurse certainly helps. I become kind of enamored with using pen the Pentacurse for a while now. By which I mean like you cast one curse and then Vixen's Entrapment cast four more. So actually, I have a Hexacurse, technically, because I on the cast one stunned, I have Frostbite. Oh, using Petrified Blood? Okay. I have yet to find, like, I've yet to be able to make Petrified Blood work the way I want it to. I don't really know what type of build you need to make Petrified Blood work. I guess is a really high regen build, but I don't know what else besides that. I wonder if a Golemancer Elementalist with lots of stone golems would have the regen for that. Maybe like a Juggernaut would be good. Actually, would it be better to stack ma like maximum life, or would it be better to stack life regen? Petrified blood. That's what I'm wondering. Because like, petrified blood prevents a portion of your damage from from hitting you, and then it spreads that damage out over time. So if you just have like a stupid high life regen, you'd be able to withstand most of that. The question would be like how much how much life investment do you need to avoid being one shot? Don't like that, whatever that's preparing. Nope. Nope. Well, thank you. Unsubscribe. This is a tier 16 good check. And I'm I'm very happy with the changes. Honestly, Heartstopper is like such a nice thing to have in addition to my build. Because like that is like I do tend to struggle with my survivability sometimes, so it's nice. Very nice. But I am I am losing two million DPS to do it though, so. Petrified Blood, Golden Rule, Tainted Pack. Tainted Pack. Golden Rule... Uh, I, actually, I would actually need to look up most of that stuff, but the Golden Rule, it affects whether you're poisoned or bleeding or not, right? Something like that? Oh, I'm starting to feel the six Delirium stacks now. 
Iron Shard. Bone roll reflects your poison bleed to you for more armor. Okay. Interesting. Wait. Maybe I'm going about this completely wrong. Maybe what you want with petrified blood isn't life regen or max life necessarily. It's damage recoup. Because if you if your dam if the damage you're taking is being spread out over time, then having your life recouped spread out over time would also be good. Into pack lets you heal from taking chaos damage over time while leeching. Okay. Maybe a not champion. Uh, one of the duelist descendancy, the one that that allows overcapped life leech might work well with that. Plus, lots of poison nodes there. If you head a bit east to the uh, to the uh, Archer area, the right area. I think I'm gonna start. I'm gonna look into theory crafting a uh, petrified blood and life recoup build. Let's see. So, life recoup there. Life recoup there. Over there. Oh, weirdly enough, a lot of the life recoup is not down... is not over the warrior section. That's interesting. Life recoup seems to be more of, like, a shadow witch thing. Interesting. Slayer, thank you. That's that's the essence I was thinking of. You put all the life recoup here together. There's actually no. I'll look at the life recoup in a second. Let's go and kill this boss <laughs> before everyone gets too bored. Though, if you don't like listening to me talk about builds, you're probably not going to enjoy watching me long term. <laughs> Because that is kind of my jam. Wow, this is a busy boss room. That must be the boss there. Ah, oh, it's hit that fell. There we are. No. Stop healing him. Bad Maven. Bad. The boy didn't protect his children very well. Maven. Ooh, a Veritania, nice. Okay, Warlord. Let's beat up this fucker. Okay, so he has seven stacks of Delirium on him now. So this is going to be a bit dicey. Well, look like he was duplicated for a second. Oh, he also has a lot of energy shields. I forgot. Oh, yeah, he has 45% of his health as energy shield, too. That's really cruel. Let's just do that. Start with. 
Oh. Damn it. His banners are going to be trouble if he's this tanky. Ooh, that's not good. Running out. Running out of charges for my life flasks. Nope! You don't. Did I just kill myself? I think I just killed myself with, uh... With righteous fire. <laughs> Damn it. Dump some stuff in here. Okay, let's see if I've made him unkillable or not. Law weave? Oh, I can make a lore weave now. Add another kind of orange chart for the guild. Okay. So, I'm going to take an Omen of Revenge and use that because this guy's really fucking tanky and he recovered all his energy shield. So, I need, I need something to be able to like even the odds a bit. Because I feel like this is going to be a war of attrition. Need to make sure to keep moving, because otherwise I will be in a lot of danger. Damn it! Okay, well, the Omen of Revenge is on him now, at least, so he'll take 25% more. I don't know if that got the flags, too. I hope it got the battle standards as well. They're tanky, too. And those who don't know, you can't damage him while his battle he's standing near his battle standards. God damn it! <laughs> Stop spawning them! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. A veil of safety and security. Ow. Butthead. No. Bad. Bad Drox. Let's just make sure to hit him every once in a while so he doesn't recharge his energy shield. He recharges his energy shield. Damn it! I need to clear this section out so that it's easy to fight him. Or maybe I should just be moving him farther away from the center, where a bunch of battle standards overlap. Nope, don't want... Okay, yeah, almost through his energy shield, which is good, because that's like a big... that'll be a big deal. Nope! Nope, 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 no, 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 Oh my god, this energy shield is ass! Why do you have so much energy shield? Because I rolled this map stupidly, that's why. Okay, now this is getting somewhere. Okay. Half health. Just need to keep the damage on him. Doesn't get away. Regen. The last thing I want is him to regenerate is his energy shield. That would be very painful for me. Fuck, 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 fuck. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Please, don't let him regenerate. Okay, he got some of his energy shield back, but not all of it.
Yeah, yeah, tight tethers, whatever. I wish I had chaos damage! Why? Why did I give him so much energy shield? This was a terrible idea! God, I can't even kill his adds anymore because they're so tanky. Am I through it? I think I'm through his energy shield. But he still has the damage reduction right now, making it very hard. I am trying to stack up as much as I can, though, before I let loose, because I'm using high-impact mines. Oh my god, finally! Ah! No! No, I barely survived to begin with! Nope, 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 nope. Ah! <laughs> uh, I think that was my last portal, too. Ugh. Ugh. My brain's like, why did you do this to yourself? Oh, and then, of course, the Metamorph has, like, a ridiculous amount of, he of energy shield as well, of course. Oh, uh, I did give it to him. Ooh. Okay. 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 Oh, that scared me. I still have two portals left. Okay, that's good. I'm glad that like my bit my build actually has the staying power now to survive. Wait. What just happened to the Just add or Lord Helm? Put it somewhere. I don't even pick it up. That's the other possibility is I didn't pick it up. I didn't pick it up. It's there it is. Nope. Don't want to fight you. Warlord helmets are very important. They can roll the uh plus one to maximum power charge modifier, which is stupid powerful. Uh, an anguish. I like to roll the... I like to roll the helmets as much as I can to see if I can get anything cool. Max life. Max life. Max life. Damage reflection. Sure, why not? Sucks anyways. Yes. 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 <laughs> Minions! Minion accuracy! I don't care, I just want the thing. This is what I use essences for. Power charge. Power charge. Power charge. Power charge. Power charge. Oh, what about this? Oh, not that. This. No. This? No. This? No. This? Nope. No. <laughs> it's very hard to roll it, but if you do roll it, it's very nice.
I don't mind wasting a ton of essences because almost none of them are valuable, and even the ones that are, I don't want to bother selling because they're such a fuck. Pain to sell. Actually, rating equals your strength. They're mediocre at best. Well, I mean, the two of them, the two uh, Warlord and Blizzards together apparently are like one divine, but I don't think that that's, I don't think that's true with this particular set of shitty modifiers. Okay. Well, I tried. That's a really good way to use your essences, though, like late game, when you don't need to craft things anymore. Just throw everything at influence items and see if you can get something cool. Let's see... Chimera, div cards, Chimera, div cards, div cards. Oh, right, I was going to look at the passive tree really quickly. So, what could you get for life recoup? 12, and then there's 12 here, so 24% life recoup. Plus this, so it's 36%. 40, 44. Fifty four, sixty two, sixty eight, seventy four. So with just this node, this node, and this node, you can get seventy four percent of damage of recouped as life. You can also get 25% of damage taken recouped as life if Life Leech was removed by filling your life recently, which would bring you up to 99%. Uh, I don't change. Isn't that... Oh, no, it, it's, it's just the mastery. And like I don't I, I don't think it's bad to have it recoup over four seconds because with the way that petrified blood works Let's see The life that you lose is lost over four seconds as well. That's why I'm thinking life recoup might actually be like a really good match with this. Just a thought, though. I don't know. I'd really love to see how that plays. I'd want to play, like, an attack-based character for it, too. It would be an interesting way to play it, though. Just pick up as much life recoup as you can. Let's see, can I... Really quickly... This works. Maybe.
Okay, that should work then. So, really quick. Just looking at the uh, life recoup options here. You can, get life, you can also get jewels with life recoup. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Raven Secret. What does that have to do with it? Oh, you can also get uh, more through Mob Conquest. Interesting. What absorption charges, anyway? Players recoup a percentage of elemental damage they take as energy shield for each absorption they have. Uh, what percent? <laughs> That's not useful. Twelve percent. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering if you could use, like, the Eye of Innocence to damage, to, like, or not, yeah, the Eye of Innocence to damage you, and if you could use that. No, of course not. Ah, well. Okay. Oh yeah, I opened something. Yeah, I'm gonna look into the life recoup and petrified blood thing because like that actually feels like there might be a build there. Like there's, that's not a build itself. You'd need something offensive to go with it, but I don't know. It's an interesting layer of defense. Does anyone know if there's, like, life leech you can get on spells, anyhow? Oh, the sun. Because if you could use both pain attunement and this strategy, that would be deadly, at the least. Well, Vault of Atziri. So use up my Kirak. Oh, it's this side. Might hurt people to see me not really loot that at all, but I just want to reroll Kirax missions. I'm sorry. Anything interesting? Ooh, Untainted Paradise. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna hold on to that. Let me see if I can get us a uh, barren map. Actually, no, no, we don't need that because we have enough crests. Let's go fight Cirrus. Why not? Also, just a reminder, we are going to be opening the Forgotten Reliquary in a bit. It will be in this stream.
Just not immediately. Need to do anything? I think so. Okay. First series of the league. Well, okay, we have to walk over here and talk around while they talk. I wish I could just skip this, but unfortunately, that's not a thing. It looks like I'm like I've been running in circles for so long that it's slowly destroyed the ground. Oop. A portal. Ah. Okay, first series. Wish me luck. No obliteration, please. No annihilation either. Not really dang. Let's set up. Oh god. Okay, well that was like twenty five percent of his health. Oh friend. Like Princess Leia. Oh no. I got eaten by the storm. No. I'm sorry, Leia. Can you, like, come over here a bit more away from the storm, please? Mine. Okay. Drop a bunch of mines. Damn it! He always moves. Base at fifty percent. Uh, uh oh, this is not a good spot to be. We're here. Wow, that that random stall just got obliterated. Is this below him? I think this is below him. Come down here. Down here. Hey, butthead, come down here. Just go. Yes. Oh, wow, that almost killed me. Um. Okay, he's at 25%. This isn't feeling very hard right now, but one of the biggest concerns with Cirrus is that you will get stuck in a death loop, or like you're coming in and he's off-screening you. Oh my gosh, why did you recover so much health? Whatever. Uh-oh. 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 There you are. Uh, hmm. Like this, just a bit too meteor for me. Are you? There you are. That's a die. Ow. Really wish I hadn't stepped in that puddle on the ground. I need to not get stuck in a death loop. He's not likely to off-screen me, thankfully. Because I'm pretty tanky now. Where are you? There you are. Oh, god damn it! Get back here! 
Oh my gosh, it's so hard to set up on him. Because he keeps moving. And setting up does benefit me the most. Just because I get a uh, 2% uh, chance at d dealing double damage for every mine that's on the ground at the time. Oh, come on. That one's kind of dangerous. Nope. You don't. That die beam I predicted. Nope. Die, 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 die. Thank you. <laughs> Ugh. Kirik's just one of those... Or Kirik. Uh, Cirrus is just one of those fights that can go really well until it doesn't. It's one of the biggest dangers. Holy shit. Of uh, Cirrus, not Kirik. Oh, let me move my town to Bowery Shore. What I can actually. Baron Two Hander. Any one hander, Baron Boot, and Aider's Repentance? No. Bitter Gloves. Ends of the High Templar. That's what I'm thinking of. Can be modified while corrupted. Oh, it's actually worth money. That surprises me. You in here. Those used to not really be worth much money, but whatever. Actually, we are an hour and 16 minutes in, so it'll be a good time for an intermission. We'll uh, go on a five-minute intermission, and uh, then we'll be back together. Here be everyone.
Welcome back, everyone. So, who here has made a lore weave before? What? That matter. So, for those who haven't made a lore weave before, it is a six socket chest plate that you make. by putting together 60 unique rings. Doesn't matter whether they're corrupted or not. Okay, cool, Pyro. One. What did I do wrong here? Something's wrong. Oh, this one turned into a rare. That's what happened. Oops, I have a rare. I have a traitor in my midst. Extra. I don't need a mark submission. Let's try that again. So you take 60 rings, unique rings, they can be any unique ring, doesn't matter whether they're corrupted, not corrupted, doesn't matter what their implicit is, they just have to be normal, unique rings. And you can get a lore weave, like this, by vendoring them all at once. The lore weaves are kind of special because they always have six sockets. They have rarity on them, elemental damage, max life, energy shield, mana, crit chance, and maximum resistances. So these set your maximum resistances to somewhere between 76 and 78%. This lore weave in particular sets your, your maximum resistance to 77%. This is worth. And chaos apparently, but if you six link it, it's worth a lot more. I six linked one the other day and I sold it for two div, so I'll probably be doing that with this one too. And now I have something else fun to do besides the uh, the uh, reliquary key. I have another big gamble to do, just like the divergent spark. I have a Divergent Haste gem this time, 2020, and I have another Alva Temple with the Doriani's Institute to double corrupt it. Let's gamble with more money again! So... You can see my uh, you can see my trade macro right now. It's roughly three divine for a diversion haste right now, just a normal twenty twenty uncorrupted. It can go up a lot from that point. This is not dangerous to me in any way. I think so. This is a tier 16, but I should be like somewhat careful, but bigger issue is going to be the actual things inside the temple, because those things can use chaos damage. Okay. So I need to go northwest and northeast. Yeah, these are the problems here. 
Oh, never mind. They they just melt. Oh, I'll take this time right now while we're just slowly moving towards the Dorianis Institute to remind everyone the regular stream time on Tuesday and Wednesday is going to be moved back by an hour uh, starting next week. So that will be 5.30 EST instead of 4.30. Just gives me some more time to do dinner stuff and, you know. At that. This should have all like special modifiers, but out of that much. This mod wouldn't be so bad if it was on something that wasn't an iron ring. The fact that it's an iron ring really sucks. Might be worth something, but I don't really think so. Wait, am I going... What direction am I going again? I've already got myself... Okay, northeast. Actually, well, I have a chance. Is there is there a vol haste? It was vol haste. So making a really quick straw poll, actually. Here we go. Okay. So that's a straw poll right there. It is time for you to vote on whether you think the Divergent Haste will get better worse, or if it won't change. What do you think will happen? I can't really give you anything if you win, but I will congratulate you. Go away, whatever you are. Oh, that must have been the architect. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Dorianis Institute here. Happy Jim. I'm going to go around and clear this area out safely so that we can on what we're doing. Clear this area out so we can safely focus on what we're doing. Go 
go away. Bad ghost. Bad ghosty goo. Some churches vessel. Not much of it. I don't even know if there's like a full gem cutter's prism between all of that. You! Go away. Okay, there's a third one right here. And maybe two gem cutters prisms. Not very much, though. Okay, poll! So, one person thinks it's going to get better, one th person thinks it's not going to change. Let's see. So, we are going to double corrupt the divergent haste here. We'll get better, we'll get worse. Divergent Vol Haste 2020. Feel like that's not that good. Oh, it went from 3 Divine to 3.3 Divine. That's not terrible, I guess. Well, I'm glad that it didn't get worse. Whoever said it was going to get better? Thank you, Believer. Right. It did get better. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit better. But well, a little bit better. Okay, is there anything else in this actually work? Yeah, we can go do a breach. Ah, uh, why not? Oh, wait, wrong way. It's over here. There you are. I still need to open classed hands. I'm not picking up a Hall of Grandmasters. Fuck that. Don't do Hall of Grandmasters. No one who likes their sanity does Hall of Grandmasters. Does this count towards the classed hands for the Talon? Brutal breaches. I'm at 8 out of 50 classed hands. Okay, these don't count. So you need to be in a breach when you open the classed hand. I guess that makes sense, but it's still unfortunate. Either that or it's just really slow to update, but I feel like it probably just doesn't count. Oh god, what the fuck just happened? Did I just open both breaches at once somehow? That, no, that shouldn't be possible, though. Oh, class hand. Oh, I missed that. Wait, it used both breaches at once? I thought that wasn't possible. Very confused. Very, very confused. Whatever. Okay, demolition lab. Right here. Can make things explode. Yes. Explosions. 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 Yeah. You can probably tell by the character I play that I like explosions. <laughs> Flash powder cash.
There. Okay, good. There are two flash powders. I didn't actually mean to use it on that other other chest. Okay, so I'm not going to use it on that silk coffer because there is a way to the apex over here. And I might as well do the apex if I'm going to be here. Like, you almost never get anything useful. I don't think I've ever got anything good from the apex before. But, I mean, maybe it would be worth my time. Let's see. Oh, that's the first phase done. What a scary tier 16 temple. Oh. Darn it, I had to start moving. This is a string of servitude that gives 15% increased dex and int. Kidding me? That's actually valuable? I actually got a valuable thing? 70 chaos. Wow, okay. I didn't think you could possibly get something valuable from this place. Wow, this is actually not too bad either. It has strength and int, so that's really good for crusaders who are stacking both. Those all tier ones. That's two tier one attribute mods. That's actually really good. Wow, okay. That's shit. 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 That's shit. Okay. Okay, and I'll put you there. 3.3 div. Then I'll throw all of these gems together to here. That uh, in the Nine Chaos tab, in case someone wants it for some random reason. I have no idea what to do with this thing. It's actually kind of decent, I think, maybe. And what could I put on this that would make it even better? It doesn't have any attributes. It doesn't have any like, specific elemental attributes. Damage is extra chaos damage is pretty Well, if this is used by an Inquisitor, it's probably going to be some sort of elemental damage thing. I don't think what would be most likely. It's got a pretty big max mana thing on it, so I'm going to say it's lightning that they're going to use. So... I'll do that, which is 21% of lightning damage as extra chaos damage. That's pretty good. That might actually be worth something if it really be somehow. Oh, what the fuck to do with this base, but I'll figure that one out. I can't believe I actually got a string of servitude that's worth something. That just boggles my mind. That boggles my mind. They're never worth anything. OK, 
Okay, we're an hour and 45 minutes in. So, what should we do? I think what I what we're gonna do is we are going to fight a heart of the grove and then open the voidborn reliquary. That is the plan. So for those who are unfamiliar, this is the heart of the grove fight. That up right here. So the heart of the grove can do some fair a fair bit of damage, but if you can get out of its range fast enough, you're fine. One of the biggest dangers is that getting stuck into that vine wall. And now I have to go find her. Oh, I can see her on the map. Hello. Up and goodbye. Okay, that was like obscenely easy because I bursted her. But usually that's a more challenging fight than that. Also, what the hell is this? And this. Oh, this is Forbidden Chaco and a sacred crystallized life board. It's worth a div. Okay. Cool. I don't really have any complaints with that. I wish I could show off the mechanics a bit better, but I kind of steamroll them, unfortunately. For better or for worse, it, it is fortunate, ultimately. But Okay, so let's look at this Forbidden Jacko quickly. Forbidden Jacko has two modifiers. It has... One gem that's 1 to 10, and then another random gem that's 25 to 35. So I got a level 1 summon phantasm and a level 29 volatility. What? Or does it have greater multiple projectiles, hype and control, blaze in brackets? That's slightly confused. Maybe it's because volatility get is greater multiple projectiles and control blaze together? I don't recognize volatility though. Is that a real gem? All that activity. Yeah, it's a real gem. Okay. Support skills do 30% more maximum attack damage and 50% less minimum attack damage. And then a summon phantasm, which also does which is physical damage, physical attack damage. That's not the worst, but I don't think it's very good. Yeah, I'd have to I'd have to really sit down and like look at pricing this because that is very, very hard to price. So, who's excited for the Voidborn Reliquary Key? Thoughts? Any uh, idea what you think? Uh, what you think this might be worth? Like, not the key itself. Like, like what you think? What you think we're gonna get out of it? You want to make some hyper specific guess you might be considered a uh, a profit if you get it right <laughs> a rainbow tabula i'll have you so pretty okay 
Voidborn Reliquary Key. Let's go! Oh, it's normal portals? That's weird. Hey! Welcome to the Voidborn Reliquary. Oh. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh. Oh, wait, yeah, it looks... It's chromatic, like it's changing color. Voidborn Chest Relic Vault. Time stands still, and a new champion ascends. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna do it. That's probably not worth anything. <laughs> I recognize that. Also, it's a two-handed axe, which really isn't good. Debion's Dirge. Despot Axe. Hello. Really pretty, if nothing else. Is there any way I can, like, check what it's worth hollow? Oh, that's so pretty. Oh. I could just watch it forever. Did it actually roll well? It actually rolled really well. It said as a slider for that? Okay. Okay. So, one second. Debion's Dirge Axe. Alternate art. No, it'd be foil variation. Is this a rainbow one? Okay, it just strab does not exist. There's no There's no oil ones that seem to be available. Any void one bear. He's like just the yellow. Okay, so there just isn't any ra any rainbow ones at all, even offline. Sale. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if there's any in standard, just out of curiosity. Probably. What? There must there must be something wrong because it says there's no no rainbow ones in standard either. That that can't possibly be right. Weird. Okay, well, I don't know what the fuck's up with that, but, uh... You step aside, you're not as interesting anymore. Witty. I don't mean to just stare at it, but it is really pretty.
here you can This is part of the reason why I want to make an aura bot because this would be amazing for an aura bot. <laughs> because I mean, greater harbinger of time getting lips or tailwind is really. Oh, it's so. Okay, I'm not just going to keep staring at it though. <laughs> oh man. We're just about hitting the two hour mark on the stream. Is usually about where I like to call it. I think I am going to do that though. I am going to call it here. Let's look at the channel. The Catalyst video has gone out today. So if you missed. What I'm talking about with that, with Gambling Catalysts, you can view the video here. Tomorrow, we're out, the, this VOD will go out, and I have a number of other different things to put out for the channel. I, just a reminder, we're, the uh, regular streams on Tuesday and Thursday are to be pushed back an hour starting this next stream. So, an hour later. Whatever time you're used to, an hour past that. And yeah. But I have a lot of a lot of plans for different Path of Exile videos for the channel. If y'all have any ideas for like particular videos you'd like to see, I am more than receptive to that, so feel free to leave a comment on the videos or come and join our Discord. We'd love if you'd come and join our Discord, because that's kind of where we talk about all this stuff. That's where we keep up with what's going on and all of that. That is the Discord link. If you haven't uh, followed the uh, Twitch channel or subscribed to the YouTube channel, I'd really love that. Thank you all for coming today. For everyone who's here and has been here, I really appreciate you. You make playing a lot more fun. And I'm just generally pretty happy to spend time with all of you, my community. Have a good night, all. See you next week.